XDA senior member Hamdog here. Today I am reviewing version 5 of Ultimate Jelly Bean ROM. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Alright, so like I said, this is version 5 of Ultimate Jelly Bean ROM by XDA member Josh3. Now this is based on the XXLSA leak from Samsung. Um, so this is also running XXLSA baseband and this is 3.6.1 kernel from Phil. Now one of the better features of this ROM is the ability to update over the year and not just the ROM update but there's updates that fix certain issues that go along with the ROM. So let's um, get into the first thing that most people are concerned with and that's battery. Okay, you can see um, GPSD is using quite a bit of battery power and the screen is probably the second. Jelly Bean actually uses quite a bit of oomph too, which people probably noticed from Ice Cream Sandwich. Jelly Bean's using a bit more power than what they used to. Okay, so let's get into it. So the lock screen. There's a few options under lock screen. You can turn the weather on and off. You can add shortcuts, which I'll just do now. You can add information for your Facebook notifications. Uh, you can add the ripple effect on and off. I've got it set to off. Quick camera access, that's always a cool feature. Um, and I'll show you that now, actually. So you put it in portrait mode. Oh, come on, sort it out. Put it in portrait mode. Put your finger on it and turn it like you would to take a picture. And boom, there we go. Into taking a picture mode. So that's a cool little feature. And the lock screen feature, you just swipe up from lock screen and it opens an app that you have set for it. So that's also pretty cool. Right, right, auto rotate and smart rotation. Right, so smart rotation is the ability to keep the phone orientated to the uh, orientation of your face. I guess that's an easy way of explaining it. Smart Stay is also the ability for the camera to recognize your eyes being open and your screen won't shut down, won't sleep. Okay, so let's um, turn the percentage on and let's go back out and show you something else. Right, and uh, applications, I will show you what's running in the background and how much RAM we've got. Okay, so I did install Adobe Flash, that's running in the background. Um, and let's take a look at the RAM usage. It looks like we're running 263 free, 268. It's probably going to fluctuate between those two settings. And look at what applications are on at the moment. There's nothing that I think is on that shouldn't be. Yep, still on 267, 268. So it seems pretty pretty uh, good actually. The last version, some people were complaining about ROM usage, they're only having 100 megabytes free. Um, I didn't notice that to be honest, but um, there you go, there's the proofs in the pudding. And storage. Right, now let's check out some applications. Okay, the first one I'm probably going to check out would be CPU Spy. So I've had 37, almost 38 hours of uptime and there's no lag that I have experienced so far. I'm just going to reset this, sleep it, and just confirm that it actually does sleep. Okay, wake it up, and I'll refresh it. Because obviously that's an important factor when it comes to keeping your battery. Right, yeah, so deep sleep is active. Two seconds, <laughs> as we saw. And let's get into Gmail. This is Gmail 4.2. I'm pretty sure you're aware that 4.2 has the pinch to zoom feature. Let's just go in and show you that right now. Right, there we go. Okay, now this also comes with two versions of camera apps. One is the Samsung and one is the 4.2 Jelly Bean camera. This is the Jelly Bean version now. So once you've touched the screen to zoom, You've also got the pinch gestures, so you can change the flash on off auto. You can change the reverse camera. You can change 
it to the certain light settings. You've got the settings feature and you've also got the white balance. You can change it plus two and minus two. Okay, now perhaps the coolest feature that this has to offer is the photosphere, the panorama feature. Um, there's also video and then there's camera. Unfortunately, when I tried to uh, take video footage, my camera just restarted randomly. Uh, so that may be an issue with that app. 4.2 app's not quite working well with the Galaxy Note. Right, let's take a look at another application. Uh, that's an application that comes built in with the ROM. It basically moves your storage apps from your internal SD card to your external SD card. So you can choose which apps you want to change and obviously free up some space on your internal SD card. Now another cool feature with the Lex Samsung ROMs is the Air View feature. So you can go into movies and gallery and take a look at the preview with your S Pen. And that works well on this ROM as well. Right. And there's also the pop-up video. So if you can go back to your home screen flick, still nice transitions, you can move your video and there's no lag, everything runs really well. Okay, I'll just quickly show you the gallery and show the air view working on that. Okay, so everything's all good. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go into the display settings, untick it, and then I'll tick it back on to enable it. And as soon as I click out, you'll see a little tab on the left hand side. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so I'll open it up. So I'm just going to load a Gmail app at the top and I'll load a gallery down the bottom and there we go. So once that's loaded up you can see that that works too. Right. Now quickly going into S-Note, I'll show you the features that that works because sometimes on ROMs apps don't quite work so well and you've got to flash the app back over the top. I'll just go and show you it working. So you can draw a line and then you click on the productivity tool and you draw an arrow and it smacks it into a nice looking arrow. So if you want to flash this ROM, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure if you're going to flash it, even if you're coming from any other ROM, if you're coming from the same ROM, different version, do a full wipe and full factory reset. Um, format the system, the data, the cache, do everything, otherwise it won't be running properly. Okay, so this is Hamdog, out.